quick story. Can you, can you share a story with me? Uh, there was this older gentleman, and he went to church every single Sunday morning. He never missed. This one particular Sunday, he was not there, and all the congregation, the preacher got worried about him. He lived out on a farm, and he said, we, we've got to go check and see what's wrong with him. He was very hard of hearing. He said, well, let's just drive out to his place. So they drove out there. And they knock on the door. <laughs> Nobody comes to the door. They knock again. They said, well, he's not here. And they look in the window and they see the old man at the table eating. He said, well, there he is. So they just open the door and walk in. The preacher said, boy, we sure missed you at church today. And the old man said, did you miss me at church today? <laughs> the preacher said, we sure did. He said, I totally missed you. And the old man said, well, one of my prize cows got out on me and I looked all morning for him. The preacher said, well, listen, why don't you come to church tonight and maybe someone in the congregation has, has seen her and can help you out. The old man said, why don't I come to church tonight? Maybe someone has seen her and can help me out. <laughs> the preacher said, listen, you sit on the very first row and I'll make that my first announcement. The old man said, why don't I sit on the first row and you make that your first announcement? The preacher said, all right, we'll see you tonight. While the congregation was there that night, there was the old man sitting on the very first row. The preacher gets up and says, I'd like for y'all to make welcome our newest member of the church, Miss Johnson. The old man stood up and said, you can't miss her. She's got one other love shorter and brown hair on her belly. <laughs> You can just see that happening first. You know, I've, I've been very blessed and I'm very thankful for getting to play all the different places and some of these great musicians. Uh, I play, you know, in my spare time, I go to as many nursing homes as, as I can. And they're in my hometown of Spencer, the Bloomington area. I was playing there uh, oh, a couple months ago and I was talking to this older gentleman before I even got my guitar out of the case and he was telling me, kind of about his aches and pains, he didn't feel very good. I said, well, I'm gonna get my guitar and do some picking for you, and do a little singing. So I got my guitar and I sang about, oh, I don't know, 25 minutes or so. Then I got done, I put my guitar away and I saw him leaving and I said, hey, I hope you get better. And he said, I hope you do too. <laughs> quick story. I was in a nursing room one time playing, and you know, you can't listen to the different conversation. I heard these three old men talking. This one old man said, I'll tell you what my problem is. My kidney. I just can't pass water like he used to. The other old man said, oh, my problem is my bowels. Oh, my bowels. The other old man said, I'll tell you what. Every morning at 6 o'clock, my kidneys work this fine. Every morning at 6, my bowels work this fine. The other two said, well, what are you complaining about? He said, I don't wake up till 9. <laughs> One, one lady in the nursing home were sitting and talking, and this uh, old man looked at that older lady and he said, I bet you can't guess how old I am. She said, I bet I can. He said, how old am I? She said, well, stand up. He stood up. She said, take your shirt off. She did. She said, no, just take all your clothes off. So he did. She said, you're 92. He said, how do you know that? She said, you told me yesterday. <laughs> well, listen, folks. We 
wanted to extend our thanks to you. We have certainly had a great time. Have you had a great time tonight? I hope you have. We appreciate it so much. And listen, if you've had a little bit of a good time, I hope you'll tell a friend or neighbor about our show. And if you haven't had a good time, I hope you'll keep your mouth shut. <laughs> tell anybody. But uh, I want to say a big thanks to all the staff, and especially to Michelle and Becky and, and all of them. I appreciate it so very much uh, for inviting us here. And uh, I want you to give a round of applause for this band. Would you do that? All right. And how about for Alan, our sound man? You know, we was talking about uh, what songs we were going to end with, and uh, 